<laughs> All right, so we've got to talk about the drama around these MAC glosses. Now, for those of you who haven't seen this before, these are the MAC Squirt Plumping Glosses. And it seems like everyone and their dog is breaking them, including myself. I'm going to be 100% honest with you. When I first used these, I had no idea about the formula or anything like that, nor have I ever tried anything like them. Because in reality, I'm a makeup artist first and foremost, and I don't really try a bunch of new products because I stick to what I know. So yes, when I tried this pink one, I wound it up too much and it broke, but you know what? That was the quickest learning curve that I've ever faced. If you go back and watch my video, the pink one was the only one that broke, the blue and the brown were perfectly fine. But let's talk about these people that are being purposefully dense, for lack of a better word. If we're being completely honest, this is actually helping Mac sell more products. And for two reasons, it's helping Mac sell more products because people wanna see just how delicate these are and people that know the product want to prove that this product is not that easy to fuck up. I'm gonna say straight off the bat that these products are good. Anyone who is saying they're bad just does not have an understanding of these products because objectively, they're a great product. Pairing them to the Tarte formulas or anything like that is incomparable because they don't do what these do. These are specifically for changing undertones and honestly, a brand hasn't done that before or at least not that I've seen. There is the argument that any tinted lip gloss could do the same things that these are doing, but that is not true because there is not enough of a tint to really pull through. And you're wondering why I have orange lipstick on. I'm gonna show you in just a second. An orange gloss on and we're gonna go in with the blue squirt gloss. Now I am watching this very carefully to make sure that I don't wind it up too much. And now that it's applied, you don't need to tap it. You just need to wind up very little at one time. Now, is this going to look great? No. I want to show you with the blue. Look at the difference between the oranges. Look at that. I can honestly say that in my nine years of my professional makeup artist career, working on movies, TV, red carpets, everything like that, a product I have used has never done this. This has entirely neutralized the orange and made this warm orange a neutral orange. And that is the purpose of these plumping glosses to neutralize and change shades of pre-existing lip shades. And it's honestly fucking amazing. Keep in mind, people that are doing this is just for view. 